Okay, I am a dummy. Marvel Unlimited. I thought this film was one of those ones for the Marvel Redemption Code website. Um, see, I'm dumb. See, I didn't. If I had a click, I could have got that there. Anyway, it's Monday. It's Crash of the Titans. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna go through and pick my one reward before we get into the Crash of the Titans. So it's Wong, Hulkley, and Korg. No, I don't want one of those there. So see my Wong support. That's a level four. Hulkling, whoops, name, oh, never mind, I probably misspelled Hulkling wrong, okay, that's a level three, and then the, let's see here, flip to four, it'd be cool. Gladiator. There we go. So that's a level four too. So probably to get the long at level five, that'll probably be my best bet. Cause that's a level four and it's well away. Uh, let's see here. Long blue extra match or or match blue get one extra blue AP. Uh, chance to remove a special tile, match five or greater, destroy him. Uh, AP and, uh, and the enemy strongest color, max health increase, and then uh, makes a match increase the time of a friendly countdown tile by one. But it doesn't increase the 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 length of the stun. Not with not unless you got the synergy perk. So, uh, yeah. We'll take the long, why not? Get it to level five. Or get it close to level five. Uh fan favorites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So enough of my spiel. Let's get into the crash of the Titans. It's gonna be a double crash against Carnage of all people. Red, black, and green user. So his red ability. It's called Symbiont Science. Norm, this costs seven red AP. And it deals damage to the target and then damage to all other enemies. And then if Carnage has at least 10 red AP, then it also deals damage to all other allies. So, no, it has less than 10 AP. All right, so break it down. If Carnage has 10 or red, 10 red AP or more, then he will just deal damage to the enemy team. But if he has less than 10, 9 for example, then he just deals damage indiscriminately, just hurts everybody except himself. Alright, his black ability is Alien Instincts. This is passive. And if there's fewer than 10 friendly special tiles on the board, then Carnage creates two friendly attack tiles of high strength and two enemy attack tiles of low strength. Lower strength, I should say. And then finally, Carnage rules its green ability, which costs eight. He destroys 16 random tiles at level five, uh, dealing damage for each special tile destroyed and obviously doesn't generate AP. His affiliation for all those that care. Villain, Sinister Six, Spider-Verse, and Symbiotes. Symbiotes, whatever. Alright, Deathlock. This should be really, really fun. So he is a black, red, and blue user, though not in that particular order. It's Focus Fire. This is the passive. Whenever it Deathhawk's team makes a red or a blue match, he gains a focus point up to 10. 
Each focus point increases allied damage dealt to that target by the listed amount. If the deadlock team deals match, dam match damage to another target, he loses all focus points. Essentially, it makes sure that you are focusing on one target and only one target. The combat strategy is his blue ability, which is both active and passive. The, the active portion, which costs nine, deals damage, ignoring projectiles, invisibility tiles, and airborne. Then he gains a uh, burst health as he repositions at higher levels, more damage, more burst health. This is what we want here. At the start of each turn, for each friendly synthetic or technologist, gain one AP and the team's two strongest columns. And for each synthetic or te technologist, uh, the enemy team loses one AP in theirs. And then, like I said, more burst health and whatnot. Assuming control is black ability, which costs seven, is both active and passive. Actively, he creates a four turn black fortify countdown tile that increases his base focus points to six. But at the, at the start of each turn, uh, he say he deals 50% of Deathlock's focus point bonus damage to all other characters, ignoring protect invisibility and airborne. So you, yeah, they, essentially the AI is taking control. And then passively, Deathlock Scene takes 35% less damage from abilities that target a single character, aka Carnage's Green, and 25% less damage from abilities that target multiple, aka Carnage's Red. While the AI has control, only Deathlock benefits from this passive. So when you pop assuming control, yeah and then it increases uh by seven and then you take even less damage so you get the idea uh as far as death Fox affiliations hero defender shield technologies enhanced synthetic and fan favorite for all those that care now what do we do against carnage uh, we kind of want to deny his red that's the main thing. So we're gonna be matching red. Secondarily, we wanna try and at least get either blue or black. Since this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, we can probably go with Deathlock's black, um, taking advantage of the fact that we'll deal a little bit more damage uh, once we get the focus points up. Uh, blue will probably end up finishing a lower level carnage. So let's see what the board does. So here we go. We'll go red, yellow, and then we'll do an AI. So what we kind of don't want to do is kind of don't want to do uh, Attack tiles on the board. Well, if you want them to have attack tiles on the board, we want to minimize the uh, amount of attack tiles that he has. So this, I'm curious. So 126 and 72. Okay, cool. So there we go. That was. So we're gonna do that there again. Obviously, Sans commentary might not be as easy, but uh, let the match do the talking.
that was again, rather anticlimactic. Um, yeah, so Deathlock. First combo of recommendation. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video that I did for Crash the Titan, uh, the the Dwayne McGuffey run of Deathlock. So this is Deathlock. Uh, 1991 it should be 1990 yeah so yeah pretty much read that read that run there uh, and you fit you know find out how Michael Collins uh, and Deathlock coexist so there's that uh, the reason why he's a shield agent was because of the show agents of shield so there's that uh, as far as who to pair up Deathlock, well, anybody that makes, that wants red AP, or the strongest color happens to be red, or blue, for starters. So, let's think about it. Just in Four Star Land, you have, uh, wait a minute, where is she? Agent May, calculated strike. That's a stun. Okay. Sure shot's nice. It's nice to have, but uh, not really necessary. The reason why I say it's not really necessary, uh, let's expand this here to five stars. Huh. Vital balance. Seven red AP. Destroy basic tile. Restore. Combo points. River of blows. Combo points. Interesting red or purple match so huh you make a red match gain red AP combine that there with uh, the chimichanga 40% chance to gain two extra red AP or purple match 45% to the, the gain purple AP so you can see things snowballing out of control really quick. Um, Mighty Thor, that's an option there too with her crazy board shake. Uh, Hulk Cluster, if, you, if you're really feeling uh, froggy, that's what I prop. Well, yeah, that's probably what I would do with uh, Deathlock and. Shang Chi roll with Hulk Buster. Use Hulk Buster's uh, blue ability to get red tiles off the board and then punch folks in the face. Uh, metaphorically, of course, the Shang Chi or uh, Hulk Buster, depending upon who or what needs to be down. Yeah, I know we won't have any outlets for red and I mean black and green. Well, actually, we do have outlets for for that there, for black. Uh, you won't have anything really for green or yellow, but when, you're, when your matches are doing well up, well in excess of 25,000, yeah, you're, you're pretty much gonna be deleting stuff. All right, let's see here. So the next crash is gonna be with Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. So that's gonna be kind of fun there. Uh, let's see here. I tell you what I can do in a few minutes. Uh, not get this vault here, cause uh, yeah, the the roster slot is nice, but um, the rest of this stuff here, uh, I have to to seriously question things. Uh, three star Cindy Johnny Storm, nah. This here at rank rank two, nah. I mean, yeah, you get the that's a steal and the Marvel zombies, you know, vault, but yeah. And you only get three legendary tokens, Ew. or as Kevin Hart would say, Ew. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go knee deep in uh in this this uh deadpool daily but 
that's probably gonna be off cam because I thought I was gonna do it on cam, but uh, we're 15 minutes deep into the video, so let's uh, let's table it from there. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be to your fellow human beings. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and who knows? Um, I might actually read one of your comments on the video, on the next video, maybe, I don't know, but until then, peace.